there, this is Heather with Heather Blair Photography. Today I am going to show you how we combined this image of just the swing with this image of the baby who is laying on a bean bag um, on top of the swing using the same backdrop to create this image. So the first thing I'm going to do is crop the picture of the baby. And what I want to do is I just want to crop it so we include the swing. Then we will take this picture and drop it into the picture of the swing. Now obviously you can see that the picture of the baby is a lot bigger. Um, this was because I was at a different focal length. Um, but the important thing is, is when you are photographing, to shoot at the same exact angle. So what we are going to do is um, lower the opacity of this layer so that we can see underneath. And I lay it lower to about 50%. And then we will use our free transform tool to match up the swing and the blanket. So that they are the same size and even here. Let's see. Right. Now I'm going to zoom all the way in to, to see if if we are on track here. And even up the the swing and I'm looking right down here at the corner to make sure that those are even. And let's see how it is on the other side. Great. Let's zoom back out and we are going to put the opacity back up and now I'm going to add a layer mask. Right, give me a white layer mask. So I'm going to use my black brush and you want to make sure that you pick a soft, soft brush. And now what I'm going to do is just erase or mask in where we don't, what we don't want showing. So I'm going to take out the bean bag and right underneath, again, I'm going to zoom all the way in so that we make sure that we get all the important details here. And the great thing about masks too is if you do mess up and take away more than you want, all you have to do is change back to the white brush to add it back in. And I'm sure you'll see me doing that here at some point. see part of this um, flower will overlap her head. If I kept on masking, you can see how it goes over her head. So I just want to make sure we don't get that. <clears throat> Zoom back out, and we missed part of the rope over on the right side. And what I like to do is turn my eyeball on and off so that I can see if I missed anything. There's a little line underneath here that I need to get rid of. And it's important that you use the same background. Um, if we didn't have the same background, it wouldn't be as easy to 
to erase that. And you can see here I got took a little bit too much off and you can see it right on the back of baby's back. So I'm going to switch to my white brush by pressing my X key and get all the baby back in there. All right. That is the first step. Next we are going to crop this image. I'm going to crop it to an 11 by 15. I do want to make sure I come down far enough so that it does look like, you know, there's space below and that she really is hanging, although we know she is not. So right about there, I'm going to go ahead and crop that. And we're going to merge these two layers and duplicate by um, pressing Control J or Command J if you're on a Mac. Next we're going to get rid of the flowers that are left up here. And we're just going to grab our marquee tool, right click fill, and use our content aware. I'm using Photoshop CS5 which does a great job at content aware fill. And again, we're going to turn the eye on and off. You can see that looks great. Merge these layers. And the next thing we're going to do is add the flowers that are over here onto the other side. So again, we're going to duplicate the layer, Control J. And we are going to go to Edit, Transform, and Flip Horizontal. Now we are going to lower the opacity here so that we can see because I'm going to have to move it. You can see where the, <coughs> the flowers don't quite line up to the to the rope where it should be. So we're going to move that over here. Make sure that it goes all the way to the top. So right about there. Okay. Now let's put the opacity back up. We are going to add a layer mask, but this time we are going to invert the layer, the layer mask. So Control I will invert it so that you have a black layer mask, and you can see how the original image is. We're going to take our soft white brush, and now we are going to paint the flowers onto the rope here. down, I'm going to use a smaller brush. You can see a little bit of the baby's head came back in that way. I have to watch that. And remember, all I have to do there is press X and you'll see the, the color switching. Go back to my black brush and get rid of baby's head. I like it there. Again, I am going to zoom in to see, to make sure that we got everything. And you can see here it's a little distorted. I'm going to add that rope back in. And a lot of times you can't see it when it's, when it's zoomed all the way out like that. So zooming in is very important. Bottom. And we're going to that on the screen again. And again, doing your eyeball on and off is a great way to see if you got everything. And it's looking good. So there we have it. And from this, then I, do, I go on to do my normal edits and end up like this. So if you're interested in learning how to fully edit, um, including how I do the skin tones and how I got from this to this, we will be having another Master the Edit class in October. October 6th it will begin. It's a five-week class. Um, we go through everything from, there's two weeks in Lightroom and three weeks in Photoshop. Um, look on the link below and... Registration opens on August 31st. 
Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed the video.